I've spent the last three years documenting the most unique and never before seen Minecraft seeds to exist. From igloo spawning inside beautiful sinkholes to one in a billion chance odds. Here, 78 of the greatest Minecraft seeds of all time, starting with the most beautiful village ever found. This seed spawns you besides this cherry blossom biome, which when followed will lead you to a village encircled in this gigantic snowy mountain range. With a mineshaft beneath and even a ruined portal above, this is the perfect seed to start an SMP on with the gentleman. The village Villagers aren't the only ones with insane real estate though, because this seed spawns you on an iceberg in the middle of the ocean which is already pretty cool, but on the very top of it is a pillager outpost just lurking, like bruv, you could make a whole antagonist arc about this place. Now there's a good chance my man's is plotting against the villagers in this city on this seed. This seed has four different villages pretty much connected to each other making a massive quad village with this huge mountain in the middle, all only a few hundred blocks from spawn. And the coolest part is that every seed on screen right now has all the villages in the same spots, but different terrain and biomes giving you multiple options for your own survival world. Staying on the topic of villages, this seed has a taiga village with 10 different lootable blacksmiths all in the same town, which is nuts compared to your usual one or two blacksmiths. 10 is actually the world record for the most blacksmiths ever found in a village, and just looking at the loots you can find in their chest, the boys and I are gonna have a field day robbing this place. Now I bet you're probably thinking, mountain structures? I don't care about that ship over, I want something revolutionary. Well, there is a seed that exists found by Moo and Cow Milk, where right as you load in, there is a swamp biome with hundreds of frogs all repeatedly spawning across the world. Alright, you're right. Personally, I think frogs are a tiny bit ugly, especially if you're comparing it to the most beautiful seed that's ever been found in Minecraft. Only a couple hundred blocks from spawn, this seed has a gigantic water lake surrounded by these beautiful mountains, and with this birch forest-like pathway going across the side, it looks like something people would genuinely travel to to admire in real life. Below the lake is a huge cave system, which when followed all the way through will lead you to a new exit on the surface. Flying up reveals this enclosed mountain range, which when looked at from above, looks like you can just take water from the mega lake nearby and fill up the mountains. Now, if that wasn't already the coolest seed so far, if you go from 1.19.3 to 1.19.2, a sinkhole will actually generate inside of the lake, creating this crazy looking oasis formation. While the beauty of that seed is that everything comes together in unison, sometimes throwing a bunch of structures together can be just as cool. This seed has you spawn on top of a woodland mansion that has a village, ruined portal, a literal half bed inside of it, and not to mention that the mansion itself is raised 60 blocks tall off of the ground. But that isn't the only seed with a structure chilling dozens of blocks in the air though. This seed has you spawn on this small stone island, but when you turn around you see this crazy looking water monolith with a lone temple on the top. Kinda makes me just want to leave everything behind and, and live off the grid. Now while that would be considered a lonely place to live, this seed is the complete opposite. Inside of this village around every corner there is a different surprise, from shipwrecks, ocean monuments, a literal stronghold with the portal room inside of a village home. It feels like the villagers went and made all of these structures by themselves. But that isn't the end of the insane stronghold generation though, because this seed has a stronghold unlike any other you've seen before. The library in this stronghold completely sticks out of the ocean showing the entire world all of its knowledge. Other seeds have had similar things generate like this before too like this one where the stair entrance is completely exposed to the surface on this small little island. As well as this one where the stronghold's library entrance and even portal room generated completely sticking out of the water, giving any players passing by free access without a struggle. Now those are a few one of a kind seeds, but once we actually enter the stronghold, things get a little bit more interesting. There is a 1 in 1 trillion chance of a seed having an ender portal pre-lit with every eye of ender in place. Which as we can see here, there are a few seeds with this feature, but this seed right here is much more special. It is a bugged ender portal. Due to absolutely minuscule odds, this seed generated this glitch end portal naturally which only has one third of it activated and it actually works. This phenomenon happens because the portal generated with five eyes of ender on this side, but it also happened to generate right on a chunk border which tricked the portal into activating only one third of it. Now it's pretty well known that end portals can spawn naturally generated though, but did you know that there is a chance for a naturally lit nether portal too? On this seed found by Dylan DC4 14. Inside of this woodland mansion near spawn, a full ruined portal generated. This then caused wood to start burning inside the mansion, which will ultimately light the portal, meaning because you can get blaze rods without actually having to mine any blocks, you could technically beat the game in adventure mode. So this next seed, which is on an amplified world, has a floating jungle temple with a floating island above it. I mean seriously, how weird would it be if you just came across this randomly while playing? Speaking of weird temple formation, check out this seed with a desert temple that generated 
perfectly inside of a village home. If old Hank here clearly wasn't already the richest villager in the town, there's even a golden enchanted apple inside of one of the chests. I mean, come on now, Hank. Uh, Hank, what are you doing? Think these village houses couldn't get to any more insane? We'll just take a gander at this one. This seed pretty much has a natural spawning skyscraper, with this house's foundation stretching about 150 blocks tall to the ground. The reason this house is so elongated is because the game tried spawning the house on this small floating island. But when it did, the game thought, hold up, this will be floating in some parts. Let's just extend it 300 feet to the ground. That's about how tall the Statue of Liberty is. So we all know that in most Minecraft worlds, villagers and pillagers hate each other, but on this seed, it's opposite day. These guys are absolutely vibing with each other just being boys, and the villagers even moved into the mansion and took their entire houses with them. The fact that not only a village spawning next to a woodland mansion is rare, but the fact that some of the houses generated inside is just mind-blowing. But what happens when a seed like this goes wrong? No clickbaits, cops call. Well, on this seed, the same thing happened, and they built their entire city and desert temple inside of the mansion. But instead of low-key chilling, they they used their blacksmith's lava source to burn down the entire mansion without lifting a finger. Staying on the topic of woodland mansions, if you are unfortunate enough to load up this seed right here, you will immediately spawn inside of a mansion's floorboards with this air pocket of tall grass, and then you'll have to manually mine yourself out, like come on Mojang, we all know you were just trolling with this one. Moving on from the mansions and villages, this seed has an ocean monument which spawned directly inside of a stronghold. Now right off the bat, this seems to be a pretty rare seed and visually it is appealing, but once you try and fill the end portal to beat the game and you didn't bring any milk, Elder Guardians will prevent you from breaking silverfish spawners and there you go, you just got double teamed by the worst two damn mobs in the game. But that isn't the only seed with an insane ocean monument generation though. Near spawn, this seed features a mushroom biome which you already know is pretty rare, with an ocean monument that spawn inside the small pond the biome forms. This is actually one of the shallowest and smallest waters a monument can spawn in, which makes this seed generation pretty darn rare and honestly kind of creepy. Now, we've gone from floating temples to villages to ocean monuments, but how about we go a little deeper into the mines? This seed's mineshaft actually goes through bedrock all the way down at Y level 2. The reason it can do this is because mineshafts are one of the only structures that can override the generation of bedrock, so when it formed, it drilled right through it. But who needs a silly mineshaft when you have one of the largest ore veins ever discovered? This seed features a single vein of emerald that has 14 different ores in it. Usually, chunks can only load a certain amount of emeralds, but because this one is on a chunk border, it had multiple different veins connecting to each other from four different chunks. We can also see this happening here with this ancient debris in the nether. Found by Dutchin, this is an 11 vein of ancient debris, and to top it all off, the seed is literally 69420. How is this possible? Now, I consider some of those some pretty broken seeds, but no seed is nearly as broken as the quintuple pig spawner. Inside of a mineshaft near the coast on this seed, a buried treasure happened to generate right on top of a cave spider spawner. And for whatever reason, inside of the game's code, it caused five pig spawners to incubate out of thin air around the buried treasure. Now, because of that, it's clear buried treasure has some incredibly weird properties, and we can see this happening again on this seed. All the way down at Y level 5, a buried treasure overwrote a piece of bedrock, and just like the spawners, it generated a whole other piece of bedrock on top of it, making the only world where there's bedrock spawned at Y level 5. Another strange seed that has been found seemingly caused by a glitch is on this 2010 alpha version of the game. It is a giant bulge sticking out of the world surface and looks like everything just got pushed upwards 100 blocks. That's not all either. Underneath is a giant water pool that goes all the way down to bedrock, and if you swim too deep, you'll fall through and into the void. According to Minecraft professional Ant Venom, something like this occurred due to special circumstances in the world's generation while the terrain was being processed. And the chances of something like this happening is one in one trillion. So all of these seeds so far have been pretty rare and insane, but none of them come as close to this seed right here, where you can beat Minecraft without leaving the spawn chunk. This seed, 16 by 16 block spawn chunk, has all the required resources for you to be able to get to the end and beat the game. It starts off by spawning you inside a village, which you can get resources to trade with a cleric who back in 1.17.10 could trade you Eyes of Ender. Then, after you get enough, you can mine down to the strong 
stronghold, which conveniently has the portal directly under the spawn. After that, you can enter the end and beat the game, all done without ever leaving the spawn chunk. I mean, holy, even, even Dream's mods couldn't even get him this luck. Okay, so all of these structural unique seeds are pretty mind-blowing, but how about we look at a few seeds that I would consider famous? If this video on screen right now gives you the shivers, you're not the only one. This is the official seed of where the original Herobrine legend took place, and it gives off the most threatening aura I've ever felt. See this small little square picture of a mountain in the Minecraft resource pack and world selection? Well, the seed for that image, PNG, has also been found. If you've been playing Minecraft for a while, I'm sure you recognize those two seeds, but you probably recognize this one as well. For seven years, this was the Minecraft title screen background image, and it was just found through seed finding not too long ago. Several other panoramas have been found too, such as the B updates and the Nether update, which I'm sure you're all familiar with. Just the fact that all these seeds were found just by analyzing simple screenshots or small videos is pretty impressive. Alright, so now instead of looking at the seeds with the craziest structures in history, let's take a look at the seeds with the most insane terrain generation, such as mountains and biomes. This seed right here has one of the craziest snow mountains that you will ever find in Minecraft. Not only does it go up to almost Y270, but it's just a gigantic monolith sticking out of the middle of the ocean. I don't know about you fellas, but this seed is looking like a prime world to build a base with your Minecraft girlfriend on. Now that was a tall mountain, but what about a cactus that is not three blocks tall, not six or nine blocks tall, but 23 blocks tall? Yeah, this seed has a cactus that is naturally generated 23 blocks tall. Something like this happening is extremely rare because you need cactus blocks to stack onto each other when generating a whole 23 times. Which seems easy, but when there's thousands of other sand blocks in the desert for all the cactuses to spawn on, the odds start to become pretty unlikely. Now, structures like villages can be pretty boring on their own, but when they're generated in the right terrain, things can get interesting. Imagine you load into a new world, new seed, and you come face to face with a villager house. No big deal, you blow it up later, but when you zoom out, you realize the incredible seed you've just stumbled across. Not only are you on a small island with a village on it, but you're also completely surrounded by a frozen ocean and mushroom biome. But the insane and rare village biome combinations don't stop there, because this seed is just as crazy or even more crazy than the last one. This seed generated a desert village right next to this absolutely beautiful mountain, which has a small little pond right below. If there was a seven wonders of the world in Minecraft, this would have to be one of them. Coming almost as close to those seeds' beauty, this seed spawn is home to a jungle temple, desert temple, and even a village on this raised island oasis which makes for another perfect home for your new survival worlds. Want to see the most cursed Minecraft seeds ever? Any seed loaded on the snapshot version 18w06a will spawn upside down trees. There's no real explanation for this anomaly besides a bug in the tree generation during the snapshot. It's just so strange. I mean, it's a stupid tree. How are you going to do photosynthesis down there? There's also this tree seed phenomenon where if you load up the specific version 20w28a and go to any birch forest biome, once you fly up, you will soon see that every single tree is perfectly spaced apart in a grid-like pattern. Yeah, that's pretty sus, but not as sus as this seed. Yeah, I, I didn't place those blocks. Go try it yourself. Want to know the odds? Well, they're 1 in 100 gigatillion. Another more unique seed fact is not only are the blocks in your world determined by the seed, but the mobs that spawn can also be. This seed in particular has a weird trait where every single sheep herd that spawns in this plains biome will always have a pink sheep. Usually, pink sheep have a 1 in 642 chance of spawning, but this seed just doesn't care about the RNG and spawns the same colored flock of sheep every time. Staying on the topic of sheep seeds, this seed features a sheep stranded on a dirt block floating in the air. Bruh. That's it. LOL. Now, contrary to all the villages we've seen, if you are to load up this seed, you will find a very weird sight of a village with no houses or buildings right behind where you spawn. This happened because of a rare and strange glitch on 1.16 that erases all of the houses, and I guess we can call this seed Wyoming. Now I bet you think that these village seeds can't get any crazier, but just take a look at this one. These villagers built eight different churches in one single community, and found by player Protoface, he estimates that this is a 1 in 50 million chance of happening. That isn't the only time villagers tried getting closer to the Lord though, because this village generated so high up on top of the shattered savannah mountain that some of the houses literally got cut off by the sky limit. For a village to generate this high up at Y2 256 is extremely rare, easily making this a one in a lifetime seed. And if that wasn't enough, did I mention that there's an exposed zombie spawner right underneath the houses? We can assume that perhaps these fellas 
built so high up to get away from the pillagers, but the pillagers were always one step ahead. Because on this seed, these pillagers built a woodland mansion that's 101 blocks tall with this huge slab of cobblestone below it to make sure it was elevated off the ground. Similar to this in the village from earlier, this seed on an amplified world has a woodland mansion that gets cut off by the sky limit, exposing the whole interior of it from generating so high. That's just the start of the mind-blowing pillager seeds though. This seed spawn is home to a quad mansion. If you stand right in this position, you can actually see four different woodland mansions in render distance of each other, all ganging up on Hank and his small little village in between them. Alright, so if you thought any of those village and mansion seeds were insane, just wait until you see the most mind-blowing stronghold seeds. This special 1.8.9 seed makes it so you literally cannot beat the game. No matter what stronghold in the world you go to, every single one has an ocean monument that is generated right on top of it, which completely wipes out the portal frame. Meaning there's nothing to fill the eyes of Ender with, which makes the seed physically unbeatable. Well, not unless you do a little trick I call slash game mode creative, which in that case you can enter the end, and maybe stumble across some end dimension seeds you did not think could exist. Like on this seed, the main end island generated completely destroyed with barely any end stone, and almost all of the obsidian pillars go straight into the void without hitting any blocks. And the best part is, if you kill the dragon, you can't even leave because the exit portal generates cut off in the void and uh, all your XP is gone. That's not it for the insane end dimension seeds though, because on this seed, if you make your way all the way out to the outer end islands, you'll find yourself in front of the chunkiest end cities to ever exist. The end city on this seed looks like an entire society built up in the end with so many different branches and buildings. With over 25 different rooms, this is actually the biggest end city ever found and here is what it looks like compared to your average loser one. With such a chunky end city though can come a lot of chess, but despite its size, that end city comes nowhere near as overpowered to the one on this sea. If you are to loot every single chest inside of this giant end city, you will collect over 10 diamond armor pieces and tools, a bunch of iron and gold, and 60 whole diamonds. Like I'm not even kidding when I say there is a whole 42 diamonds in one of the chests. Alright, so we've looked at some of the most insane stronghold seeds and end dimension seeds, but trust me, when I say this, we are just getting started. If you load up this seed, you will find yourself spawning inside of a completely intact and sailing pirate ship in the middle of the ocean. Which is honestly much better than loading up this seed, because you will literally spawn on top of two stray grass blocks floating in the air, while also in the middle of the ocean. While that isn't too big of a deal, as you can just swim a while to find some land, on this seed, you spawn on a small island with just a few trees, surrounded by a gigantic 25 million block ocean. I actually tried boating from the very center spawn to find an actual land biome and it took me over six whole minutes, making this a solid survival island seed. Yeah, so three pretty funny yet one of a kind seeds, but we can push the insanity of these ocean seeds even further. Like on this seed spawn, not only does an ocean monument generate right behind you inside of this shallow little pond, but it actually has a total of 13 different sponge rooms inside of it. Usually monuments will only have one or two Spongebob rooms, but this one had the craziest RNG and ended up getting 13 total, which will tally up to 374 Spongebobs if you were to mine them all. Alright, so all of those ocean seeds might seem insane, but none of them come as close to this seed spawn. As soon as you load into the world, you spawn inside of a giant savanna plateau canyon surrounding you from every side like a mountain prison. It's a super crazy seed, especially if you do manage to get out and see it from the top. But unless if you're this guy I found on stock images, there is no way you're getting out of that thing alive. Another seed that has an insane mountain spawn is this one, where you load in inside of this gigantic snowy mountain bowl. Even just around the spawn itself is the most insane mountain range ever, and unless if you're this dude I found on stock images, there is no way you're surviving here. That's just the start of the most insane mountain seeds though, because if you jump off this savanna plateau's peak into the double ravine below, you will free fall for a whole 238 blocks. Because of this, this seed actually holds the world record for the tallest natural generator to drop in all of Minecraft, and it's actually pretty fun to try to survive the fall yourself. Staying on the topic of unique Minecraft terrain, this seed right here has the biggest natural avalanche in all of Minecraft. If you go ahead and update this sand block at these coordinates, the other sand blocks around it will fall right after for a satisfying 393 blocks, all made possible with the use of a repeating cave system underneath the surface. Speaking of weird cave systems, this extremely unlikely seed spawns you inside of a giant cave with no trees or anything to help you get out. So you can either manually mine yourself out with your fists, or
or jump into the conveniently placed lava source block. But sometimes, spawning inside of a cave can actually be a game changer. Because on this seed, you literally spawn inside of a ravine and you end up falling directly onto a patch of diamonds. And there you go. You just got diamonds in five seconds. Wait, what, how, am I, how am I supposed to mine these, bruh? Funnily enough, the insane ravine seeds don't stop there. Because on this seed, all the way out in the Arctic, there is this igloo just chilling at the bottom of this triple ravine, which is already out of the ordinary. But it's also just chilling on top of a lava lake without melting or anything. Like, bruh, who, who, wait, there's a, there's another one? Who the, who, who's building igloos down here? Now, every seed I've shown throughout this video is absolutely insane. But what seeds can you expect during a $10,000 seed finding competition? Starting off, Plebane submitted the seed where he spawned on this temple which is in a circular jungle oasis. A pretty cool seed, but this seed has what you could consider a mountain oasis. This seed found by Quibbly spawns you in this small cave, but as you exit it, you're welcome with this absolutely beautiful mountain range encircling this village, ruin portal, and ancient city directly below. Similar to those seeds, this seed features an abandoned village on this small oasis inside of this gigantic mangrove swamp. I bet you property prices are pretty high here. Now, what's interesting is all those seeds look like someone intentionally designed them, but that statement can't be more true for this seed. Found by Quibbly, this seed looks like a literal Fortnite map when you look at it from above, with its island shape and several different biomes and structures inhabiting it. Y'all already know, we're dropping Velvety Village and destroying the entire place, we want those mats. If you thought that seed was cool, check out this one that has four ocean monuments right next to each other, with this satisfying water chain splitting them up into halves. What's even crazy easier is that these monuments are directly on 0, zero. Now that isn't the only seed with a spawn containing four different structures though, because this seed has four different ancient cities right under spawn, all connecting to each other making this endless chasm of ruins that makes you feel like you're in the back rooms. I'm not sure what would be worse though, being stuck there or in this seed where there's an ancient city all the way down at bedrock level, and above is the largest mountain cave in existence to get out of. It's funny too because you could actually no clip into this hollow mountain just just by digging a couple blocks down and fall to your death. Staying on the theme of insane cave seeds, this one that I paid $1,250 for features a beautiful dripstone cave system that leads all the way down to a lava village as well as a ruined portal that's overrode bedrock, allowing you to fall into the void. That's not the only time we can see ruined portals destroying indestructible blocks though, because on this seed, imagine you were to prepare to go fight the ender dragon just to realize the portal you planned on using is destroyed by legit netherrack, one of the weakest blocks in the entire game. Now I'm sure you'd be extremely frustrated by this, but luckily villagers are always there to solve your problems. On this seed, there's this village just chilling on this mountain ridge side by the ocean, which makes for a 10 out of 10 villager punting spots. But all of this villager destroying makes me wonder how it'll affect the economy and the witch population. Because on this seed found by Cubitex, there is two quad witch huts, each above a stronghold, both with Within thousands of blocks of each other. Now, while 50,000 blocks apart may seem like a lot, having even one quad witch hut in an entire world is extremely rare. So having two of them within nether travel distance is even rarer and can give you some insane farms on a survival world. All right, so every single seed we've looked at throughout this video is absolutely broken and insane, but none come near to the revolutionary repeating seeds. Due to a bug in the game's code, certain seeds will repeat world terrain features across an entire axes infinitely. For instance, this seed right here had the perfect conditions to generate a repeated mineshaft that goes all the way to the world borders. If that wasn't crazy enough, this seed on Bedrock Edition formed a never-ending ravine with lava at the bottom. But this insane repeating occurrence doesn't happen only underground. The surface and the ends can also be broken as shown by these icebergs and end islands. Although there are multiple repeating seeds that have been found by the community, the chances of coming across one in a randomly generated world is is one in 140 billion. Ah, man, these really are beautiful. Anyway, we have one more seed to show. Please, please, please don't be an inappropriate joke. Please don't be an- Oh, it's just a desert village. Oh, 